Assalamualaikum and apa khabar semua Welcome back to my channel Mr. S. Figurines And this is Berbalu ke tidak What say you Di mana channel ni kita akan discuss about the best Money can my figurine Untuk letak dekat display kita Ha, Today I am doing another action figure review And this is Hasbro Marvel Legends Marvel Spider-Man 5 pack Ah, This is basically the ultimate Spider-Man black suit Ah, Kita ada silver main Marvel Human Fly ataupun The Fly, The Fly Man, Molten Man and then Marvel Razorback. Uh, this is a five pack yang saya dah fiddle, dah main semua and saya nak let you guys know lah how I feel about this five pack. Uh, this is actually uh, uh, SDCC punya box set tak silap saya kan but correct me if I'm wrong. And macam biasalah, let's look into the 4 aspect which is the aesthetic, handsome dia macam mana, kacak dia macam mana, articulation, pergerakan dia, joint-joint dia, accessories, what do we get with the figure and the price point. So now, let's go. Okay kawan-kawan, before I move on, minta tolong tekan button subscribe tu so that I can go to the channel for myself, for you guys and the community. Minta tolong juga tekan loceng tu so that korang tak miss video-video saya yang akan datang. Saya buat video review untuk apa-apa saja action figure, toys and collectibles and jom, let's enjoy the show. For accessories, okay, Molten Man gets a new head skull which is, I think this is a nuke yang dia kecilkan kan tapi the head is still looks big kita dapat a pair of the hands yang from Human Torch with the fire effect and then a fisted hand, uh, a pair of fisted hand and then kita dapat some fire effect on the back and for the legs tu, saya pakai yang from the hand and for Flyman, this is a new head skull mata dia actually ada texture and we get a pair of wings uh, this is from the front view and then this is the back view uh, we get a fisted hand as well and we also get a gun holding or a sword holding hand and for spider-man ini dia punya kepala baru uh, with the uh, web shooting hand kita ada dapat kita dapat a pair of crawling hands and we also get a pair of fisted hands okay uh, this is all for spider-man uh, for razorback we just get a new head sculpt uh, his head scalp is really cool actually. Uh, so it's a baggy dia do angle lah looking down. And we get uh, nothing else for that. And this is his twisted hand lah. He's crying lah. Sebab tak ada that accessories. <laughs> now this is silver main. Silver main is basically the same head as before. Uh, body pun lain. Twisted hand kita dapat. And then we get a gun holding hand which, which is hinge up and down. And then this is how he looks when he holds his guns. Untuk height atau ketinggian, okay, tinggi Molten Man, uh, tinggi dia uh, 6.375 inches, uh, Fly Man is 6.375 inches, 6.375 uh, inches, Ultimate Black Suit Spider-Man is 5.5 inches, Razorback is 7.5 inches, kalau we look at the top here maybe it's almost to 7.75 uh, inches jugalah kan and this guy is betul-betul on the dot 6.15 inches so that is for the height untuk size comparison ok first saya ada dorang dengan Daredevil 3 pack the latest one yang saya baru buat review and now they are with Commander Gomez Mesco. Next is SHF, SKC, Ultraman, Hayata. And next, saya ada dia dengan Mayfax Comic Paint, Spider-Man. And next, saya ada dia dengan Retro Carded Animated Spider-Man, Marvel Legends. And last but not least, Mr. X himself. Untuk aesthetic, okay, first kita nak look at Molten Man, okay. Uh, Molten Man ni is basically using the same body as Human Torch. Uh, technically, this is just a repaint of Human Torch lah, kawan-kawan. Uh, the colour, to be honest, it looks like in the comic. Tapi, body portion Molten Man, saya tengok yang dekat dalam comic, dia lagi buff. It's bigger than this. Uh, I'm not using this fire effect Macam dekat accessory saya tak pakai Memang dekat tangan ni Because I want to use this Sebab Molten Man memang dia ada banyak effect-effect fire So I'm using it on the legs And then yeah, uh, I guess the only thing that is new is the head Tapi the head ni pun kan Saya rasa macam they took the uh, new file And they shrunk the head To put it on top of this body uh, If you Take this out kan, the head still looks bigger Dia punya portion tu, it looks a bit awkward lah So, hmm, pelik lah, pelik 
um, but if you put this one this fire effect it doesn't look that obvious uh, nothing much it's just a gold kind of yellowish uh, molded plastic with no shading ke apa ke just using the human touch body and if you guys dah ada ni memang tahulah how does it look like kan next we will look at another figure yang is actually new character Molten Man pun baru for comic this one pun baru so this is uh, Fly Man uh, the head uh, looks okay dekat sini dia punya head dengan wings dia memang cantik this is the two things yang I can say it looks really really cool and this is one of the cool figures yang kita dapat lah uh, compared to yang tadi Molten Man not so good lah so the head if you look at the eyes there's texture there's texture so nampak betul-betul macam mata fly lah uh, and then it is sculpted really really nice painted really really nice uh, he looks exactly just like in the comics uh, body pun dia pakai the bucky bug body uh, and the wings looks really really nice so you can push it up macam ni kan uh, tolak macam tu and then Huh, it looks nice lah. It, look, it looks cool. Siapa yang nak collect villain memang kena ada lah dia kan. So, he looks nice. Okay, so nothing much. Uh, dia ada paint on this side and then here, here. And then the face is a totally different scalp. And then a green on this side. Uh, nothing much I can complain. Is The wings ni memang nampak. But if you look at the comic, it looks totally like very accurate to the comic. Okay. Next, kita ada the Black Suit Ultimate Spider-Man. Okay, uh, what I like about this one is actually the head. The head looks really cool. The rest, the body is actually the same one yang kita dapat from uh, Miles Morales uh, Venom. Venomized Miles Morales, if I'm not mistaken lah, the body portion except for the hands. Um, bila saya tengok balik dekat the logo, the logo is slightly smaller than the original uh, comic punya looks. Uh, the rest... Uh, it's just a purple molded uh, figure but uh, you cannot miss out lah if you guys are looking for uh, ultimate yang black suit Spider-Man. Uh, this is the suit lah. But he is simple lah, very simple. Korang pun boleh tengok lah, boleh tengok kan. Nothing macam tak, tak ada ni lah. Cuma the colour tu, the colour itself is nice, okay. Uh, next, uh, I think this is the second figure yang mungkin ramai orang juga nak is Razorback. Uh, honestly, the face, wow, the face is <laughs> macam, it's just like in the comic lah. Uh, the head, it looks really, really cool. You guys can see, cuma dia tak adalah macam ada uh, extra sangat paint kan. Tapi there is a bit of shading, shading here and there. Uh, the eyes, the look of the, orang panggil, the what, what you can ni, Warhawk ni pun, it looks really cool. Uh, and this one pun memang kalau dalam comic pun, it looks simple as this. The body, dia pakai the Hyperion body. Uh, kalau cabut ni, it looks awkward. But since this, there's a head a head piece on this. So, it looks okay. Uh, character ni memang looks like this. A green and then a slight a yellowish green here. And the body. Cuma, again, my gripe is just like Molten Man. This could have been bigger lah. The body could have been bigger. Not as small as this. This Hyperion is big. But I think it should be bigger. Bigger than this. Sebab kalau tengok dalam komik pun. Size dia dengan Spider-Man agak beza lah kan. Uh, so. Yeah. This is a classic uh, Razorback. Okay. Last but not least. Uh, the most. Uh, dikira macam saya paling kurang suka. Saya, uh, the least of all of this five pack is this one. Silver Mane. This is actually the same head that we got from uh, Speed Demon. But it is now painted really, really well. Uh, jadi, and the body is actually from the three pack. This torso sampai ke bawah. Uh, apa torso until the legs uh, sampai bawah. It's using the three pack Ultron Infinity. Uh, ada Hulk, ada Vision and ada Ultron. So, it's the same one. Except, we get some new hands. Uh, a pinless hand. Um... With some new scalp. So, I think this is like... Huh, I don't know what to say lah. Uh, this figure is like... Um, it's a rip-off. 
uh, I think it's a rip off Sebab Come on We could have gotten something better kan And this is just an easy way for Hasbro Just to throw out figure You know It's like a lazy job lah Okay So this is for the aesthetic Okay now let's straight away look at the articulation Since I'm holding this figure uh, It can look down like this Can go up Can go left and right Can wiggle wiggle The hands can go 360 It can go up like this can go up like this and then there is a swivel at the bicep double jointed pinless joints hinge and a swivel at the wrist there is an ab crunch to macam ni ab crunch to the back tak banyak not much movement to the back there's a swivel dekat dia punya waist you can kick it to the front like this not bad to the back like this not much of a split there's a thigh swivel Double jointed knees, no swivel on the shin, the hinge can go down like this and co can go up like this and there is an ankle rocker. For razor back, not much moving, movement for the head can go left and right this much but it's hindered by this uh, piece of uh, head piece kan. So tak banyak movement like this, even to the back and front pun tak banyak because if you look at this, the angle for it to move is not much lah so hindered by all this piece and it's just like this lah jadi kita pop it back in and the hand can go up like this sepatutnya can go 360 but hindered by the head piece to the back like this can go up like this a swivel on the bicep double jointed elbow hinge and a swivel and neck crunch to the front good to the back very good a swivel at the waist Tendang ke depan kaki wacha not bad to the back not so much to the side very good split a swivel at the thigh double jointed knees a swivel at the shin at the boot cut a hinge to the to the bottom like this up like this and there is a rocker. Next we will look at uh with Spider Man uh, ultimate uh, black suit Spider Man so the articulation can look down can go up very good can go left and right and then there is a rocker uh, the hands can go 360 like this can go up this much a swivel at the bicep double jointed elbow a hinge and a swivel ab crunch to the front ab crunch to the back very good front and back a swivel at the waist a split very good a kick to the front to the back not so much a swivel at the thigh Double jointed knees, no swivel. Oh, yeah, a swivel. Sorry, a swivel at the shin. You can push the hinge on the ankle down like this and up, and there is a rocker. Next, kita ada Flyman. Okay, Flyman is using the Bucky Buck body, kan? So, okay, first let's look at the wings. The wings can go up like this. Okay, itu saja movement dia. And boleh cabut lah kalau kata you all nak cabut kan, saya cabut dululah. Okay, saya akan cabut dulu since saya nak tunjuk movement hands dia. The hand can go 360, can go up like this. Okay, ada swivel dekat dia punya bicep, double jointed elbows, double jointed elbows, a hinge and a swivel. Ab crunch to the front like this, to the back like this, very good. Swivel at the waist, can kick to the front like this, very nice. To the back, not so much. A swivel, uh, sorry, uh, the split is like this, very good. A swivel at the thigh, double jointed knees, a swivel at the shin. The ankle can go down like this and can go up like this and there is a rocker. And now, for Molten Man, Molten Man boleh tengok bawah macam ni, boleh tengok atas, can go left and right, swivel, swivel. There is a butterfly joint, okay. This is just like the human torch body, can go up like this, very nice. A swivel at the bicep. Double jointed elbows, a hinge and a swivel. The ab crunch can go front like this, to the back like this, very good. A swivel at the waist, the, the legs can go up like this, to the back not so much. Can do a split like this, there is a swivel on the thigh, at the double jointed, at the double jointed uh, knees. There's a shin swivel or a boot cut and then there's an ankle hinge going down like this. Going up like this and there is an anchor rocker. Okay. For price point for all of this, for this five pack uh, box set, the uh, 
PO price harga PO dia uh, RM700 uh, ke RM700 kalau you all beli retail nanti it will be around RM850 and for this 5 piece that is for the price overall review ataupun rating after playing with this figure after looking at what it is offered the price the playability uh, saya rasa this is not a good thing for me lah saya rasa it's a bit high on the price uh, kalau kira balik tadi lebih kurang dalam RM140 per figure uh, sebab satu box set RM700 ke RM700.5 uh, untuk PO and kalau retail nanti RM850 so it's a bit high lah on the price plus kita dapat a lot of recycled figures with new ataupun enhanced bit of head sculpt and then a bit of accessories, accessories pun tak banyak so macam agak mengecewakan kita dah boleh expect lah, some of it pun rupa dia tak kena dengan dia punya figure itself lah uh, jadi saya tak recommend sangat untuk semua orang so final rating, this is going to be a 6.5 for this 5 uh, pack box set of Spider-Man ni lah, ok not recommended for anyone yang kalau tak cari classic villains, kalau you look for this classic villain yes, uh, go ahead and cari lah, kalau macam saya maybe tak lah, ok, so if you guys are new to the channel macam biasa, please uh, help me by subscribing to the channel, so that I can go to the channel for myself, for you guys and the community hit the bell, so that I, you know, you guys don't miss my content in the future, uh, do uh, give me a thumbs up, kalau korang suka video ni, ok, share and comment if you guys have anything to talk about, ok and uh, this channel will into the best money can buy figurines berbaloi ke tidak what say you and I say this 5 pack box set is not recommended okay uh, might be for some of you guys lah but not for me okay so kita jumpa lagi next time take care stay safe assalamualaikum